Yo, yeah, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building Leo's Nissan Skyline R33 from the Fast and the Furious. And as you can see, obviously we're going to be using the LG Retro Custom for this build because what other car would you use, man? This is awesome. This is a mix and match between all generations of the Skyline between 32, 33 and 34 in my opinion. Obviously not the new GTRs because... They are completely different. Um, but in regards to this body shape, those three generations are all mixed up into one beautiful machine, which is the Elegy Retro Custom. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the build with 100% body armor. Then we're gonna go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. Now we definitely need to remove that front license plate. So hopefully we can do that with the bumper that we need. And doesn't look like we can do that just yet hopefully there's something that comes later i believe it is but as you can see i'm in story mode i'm in ls customs and not benny so hopefully we can get the full range of customization in here um but in regards to the bumper i think we're just going to leave that stock you know because the only thing that's changing really is the splitter uh, the bumper that we have currently is pretty much spot on to be honest from stock that's actually pretty solid you know that's pretty much what we need and all these bits are added extras. He doesn't have an extra splitter. So yeah, don't really need to change anything on there except for remove that license plate. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do that in this LS Customs. Uh, but yeah, front bumper, we're gonna leave stock. For the rear bumper, I believe we're also gonna leave stock as well because it's just adding a diffuser. It's not actually changing the bumper. So yeah, rear bumper stock as well. For the roll cage, if I remember rightly, it's only like a half cage. Uh, so it's gonna be, yeah, street half cage, man. Sweet, isn't it? That is definitely what we need, so that's the one we're going to go with. For the engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. For the exhaust, we're going to get some big ass race exhaust, man. But we need to jewel that shit up, so we're going to get the twin titanium tuner exhaust. So then that brings us down to the fender. Um, I don't think he actually has a vent on the side there. I think it's all smoothed up. But as you can see, as we move down, it, it then changes up the rear fender. And it kind of squares it off a little bit. I don't think we want to really do that. And obviously we don't want any bolt on arches. It definitely doesn't have them. Um, but I think this more squared off look is more like the R34. Um, so again, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to stay stock. Then we're going to go on to the grill. Again, I think we're going to stay stock for this one. Because we don't really need to change anything. It's just colour coding it. And... Uh, the car's going to be all one colour anyways, so you might as well stay stock, save your pennies. Again, for the for the hood, nothing crazy is happening with his hood. Literally, I think there's nothing significant about Leo's hood. So that brings us down to the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. We are going to get a neon kit for this bad boy. We're going to go front, back and sides. And we're going to change the neon colour to either yellow or golden shower. I, I thought I'm going to go yellow. So now we do get an option for the plate. Hopefully it removes it. No, it doesn't. It just changes it. Motherfucker. We'll see. Anyway, um, we're just going to leave the plate as it is. We're going to go to the respray and we're going to change it to classic yellow. I think it's going to be yellow or is it race yellow? I'll find out when I get there. It's one of them. It's the brighter one I want to go with, I think. Yes, it is. It is the race yellow. We're going to go race yellow in the primary classic and also secondary classic and we're going to get race yellow. So then we've got the side skirt. I don't think we're going to actually change anything on the side skirt either because that protrudes a little bit too much for my liking. And all of them are pretty much the same, except for the drift skirt, actually. That looks pretty good. Yeah, man. I f oh, yeah. I think... Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't think his car's really built like that in the movie. Even though it looks cool. I kind of want to stay true to what it's like in the film. So again, guys, we're going to stay stock. For the spoiler, we're going to go with, I know exactly what we need. It is going to be this bad boy, I think. <laughs> the mid-level spoiler, I'm going to purchase that just real quick and have a quick flick through because I'm pretty sure that's the one that we're going to need. Uh, I'll just grab a quick look to make sure that I'm not missing something. But then again, this classic RS wing actually looks really close to what we need as well. Yeah, um, even though the mid-level spoiler is very close, I think this um, classic RS wing is closer. So I'm going to go with that. The suspension, we're going to go competition suspension and we're going to get a race transmission and obviously the turbo tuner. 
So now we've got the wheels, we're going to go into wheel type and into the SUV. And then we're going to go and grab these Cosmo rims. They are pretty much identical to what we need. Um, if you're online, obviously you will be online doing this build. Go and grab the chrome. Um, I can't get chrome in story mode, unfortunately. So I'm going to go with the alloy. Obviously, alternatively, if you can't afford chrome in online, because they are very expensive, they're like 80k, which is fucking ridiculous. So if you can't afford that, alloy does just a good a job, in my opinion. Once we're here, guys, we're going to go and grab the bulletproof tires. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go into light smoke window tint. But even though I've just said to finish off the build, we haven't finished because, as you can see, there is something glaring that's missing. And in LS Customs, we can't get the livery option for this car, which is weird as fuck. I don't understand what, what is going on there. So we're going to jump out of LS Customs, back onto the street. As you can see, man, this is looking awesome. Even without the livery, it just looks amazing. <laughs> it just looks so good. Right, so what I'm going to have to do now, guys, is go into my mod menu, and I'm going to go into the vehicle options, and I'm going to bring up the Benny's vehicle mod menu, and this is where we're going to be able to put the livery on and maybe even change the seats actually and hopefully remove that license plate at the front that would be perfect hopefully we can do that so we've got engine block we don't want to fuck about that there's no point if you want to change the engine block then be my guest but it's not something that you can see all the time anyway so i'm not even going to bother and uh things like the tank the um hydraulics and all that sort of stuff that is entirely up to you that is not part of this build um but if you want to obviously add that, then go for it. Same with the dials and uh, the dashboard and all that sort of stuff. Whatever, man. If that's what you want, go for it. Um, we've also got, here we go, we've got plate holder and we've got vanity plates. So it's going to be one of these, I think. Oh, we, hey, there we go. No, we don't want to do that. What are we doing? We want to stay. No, we don't want to stay stock. This is actually going to be good. That's what we need. R remove bumper mesh. That's what we want to do. Because he's got an exposed intercooler. What about plate holder? There we go. Awesome. So plate holder. Remove front plate. Love that. Sweet as a nut. So that's looking so much better now. So as you can see guys. I have added some um, dials on the dash there. You can see them just through the front windscreen. And I've now made my way to the Benny's liveries. And the one you're going to need is this Not Tonight Pizza Boys. And there it is. R33 completed my dudes. Oh man, I forgot how beautiful this LG Retro Custom actually is, especially this version of it. I think Rockstar has done an amazing job in adding the elements of this car into it. The R34 from the Fast and the, no, Too Fast, Too Furious, sorry, the grey and blue one. I don't think they've done a great job in actually um, implementing that livery. I think that livery looks a little bit weak. If you're going to make any Skyline from the Fast and the Furious franchise with, a, with an LG Retro Custom, like if you're on a budget, if you ain't got much money and you need to make an LG Retro Custom from the Fast and the Furious, if you've got to choose one, I'd go with this one all day long. I think this is definitely the, the one to go with in, in GTA because Rockstar has allowed everything to be available for it. It looks pretty much identical, you know? It's... I can't really pick any holes in it at all obviously except for the livery not being identical but it's a lot more like what it's supposed to be than others if that makes sense um, but yeah man I love this car I love this build I love that movie you know it's sort of like a, that the Fast and the Furious was my in my gateway drug into in, into cars you know it's just the way it is and I, I, I imagine it's the same for a lot of people um, but yeah, man, I, I absolutely love this car. I've enjoyed creating it in GTA right, right about now for you guys. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. If it helped you out, leave a like if you haven't already. Subscribe. And if you want to, share the vid, man. It all helps, man. And if you want to help me out, do all three of those things. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.